So, uh, next question is 1.241. this question a uniform disc of radius r equals to 20 centimeter that is 0 0.2 meter is given and this disc having a round cut here which is passing through the center so there is a round cut in this disc okay and given the mass of this part which is shaded one M is equals to 7.3 kg and radius is R. Now we have to find out moment of inertia of this uh, axis, this particular shape about the its center of inertia. Okay. And second, it means we have to calculate moment of inertia about its center of mass of this system. Okay. And that axis must be going perpendicular to this surface. So, before we proceed further, first of all, we have to find out its center of mass. Okay. So, we will try to calculate center of mass with respect to this point, which is center of a bigger disk. Okay. So, whenever you try problems related to this, that whether some part is removed or some part is added, then you can consider this whole entire system comprises of two discs. Okay, one having positive mass, another having negative mass. So if you find mass of this disc, that shaded part, the equivalent mass of uh, we consider that it is a disc of radius r fully filled, but the mass of this disc m dash you can take it would be four by three m. Why this is 4 by 3m? Because this entire mass is distributed over this total surface. Okay. Similarly, you can replace this second disk m2 by negative mass. Negative mass would be minus m by 3 for this portion. Okay. So now if you add these two portion, then you will get this mass. Okay. So we are replacing this combined system as a sum of two system that one disc of positive mass and another disc of negative mass positive mass is 4 by 3 m and negative mass is m by 3 okay the center of mass for this system is r by 2 okay right now here at this point and center of this point is at 0 0 okay so if we calculate center of mass of this entire system then we can apply simple formula that our center of mass is equals to m1 r1 plus m2 r2 upon m1 plus m2 okay so for this uh, disk the mass is minus m by 3 and location of center of mass is minus r by 2 okay and for second mass is 4 by 3 m but its center lies at 0 with respect to that point we are calculating position of center of mass divided by m1 plus m2 so if you add these two terms you will simply get m2 okay so if we will solve this equation then we are getting center of mass is at r by 2 okay so this is the point of inertia at r by 2 distance from the center r by 6 pardon it's a calculation error. r by 6 okay so now we want to calculate moment of inertia about this point okay so we already know the formula for the moment of inertia of a disk about its center that is half m r square okay but in this case our axis of consideration is away from the main center so we have to apply parallel axis theorem okay and parallel axis theorem states that you can calculate final moment of inertia about a new axis that is moment of inertia about main axis plus mass into square of the distance between two axis okay so we are going to apply this one so let's calculate moment of inertia for first disk so this is 
1 by 2 mass is 4 m by 3 okay and radius is r 4 m by 3 r square plus mass into square of the distance between two axes okay this axis and this axis so you can just uh, simplify this mathematical expression so we will get 2 by 3 m r square plus uh, 1 upon m r square upon 27 okay this is m r square upon 27 Similarly, we can calculate uh, moment of inertia of our second disc. So, this is I2 is equals to mass is negative. So, we need to take care of this that 1 by 2 minus m by 3 r by 2 whole square plus mass is minus m by 3 and r by 6 is here and r by 2 is here. So, we need to add them r by 6 plus r by 2 <coughs> whole square okay so now it will calculate total moment of inertia then you can again simplify this expression <coughs> so this is i2 equals to 4 into to 8 into 3 24 so minus m r square upon 24 plus now in this case LCM is 6 so this is 1 plus 3 4 by 6 so this is and this is a square okay so minus m by 3 into if you just simplify this expression then you will get 6 and in the numerator there will be 4 r whole square so this is 2 by 3 basically so you will get again 4 upon 27 m r square for this term and this is already given so if we'll add these two i1 plus i2 for the total moment of inertia of this system then we'll get 37 by 72 you just need to add these two parts okay so some part will get cancelled out due to this negative sign and in result of that we will get 37 by 2 uh, so the 37 upon 72 into mr square okay now m is known that is 7.3 kg and r is known 0 0.2 so you can place here 72 into 7.3 into 0 0.2 square okay and you will get final solution that is 2.45 kg meter square okay so it is uh, it is not 2.45 it is 0.45 i think uh, you need to check the answer once again you can perform better calculation and this is the final answer